Hatch makes it quick and easy for you to express your own creativity. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, I'll show you how to take an existing design and turn it into applique with just a few mouse clicks. This is a design from the Hatch library. Convert to applique, which can be found on the applique toolbar right here, works with closed objects only. EMB designs are composed of closed and open shapes. To work with a stitch file, you'll need to make sure that you have your embroidery settings set to convert stitches into object shapes. This sun is quite small. In fact, it's less than two inches. But suppose I want to enlarge it. Let's do something pretty radical. I'll do 300%. And now it's quite large. We see down here on the status bar, we can see, oh, it's about a five inch, five, six inch design. It has a large area of fill in here. Large areas of fill take a long time to sew, and they may not be particularly interesting. So let's change this sun to an applique. This item is grouped, so I'll need to ungroup it. Control A, Control U, and now I can select that yellow area and just hit the delete key. Now I'll select this orange border, and I'll just say convert to applique. Let's add some fabric. So if I double click on that, it will open the object properties. I can click on applique fabric. I can click a fabric. I can choose a fabric in here. Let's choose poly cotton. And I'll pick a color. And now we can see our applique. Now at this size, based on these other stitches, this looks a little puny, so I think I'm going to beef that up to 3.5. Normally I run my appliques at 3, but I think for this design we want to beef it up a little just to make it more compatible with the rest of the design. Now, yes, I took a satin border and turned it into an applique, but I can also take other objects. So let me show you these rays. Click on a ray, say convert to applique. Click on another ray, convert to applique. We can change those to fabrics as well. Let's just do a color this time. And there you can see what it looks like with the color. The real trick here is that you need to work with a closed object for the convert to applique to work. And that's just how easy it is to change an object into an applique. 